Hello televiewers, especially kids and parents, welcome to Agamazing TV. I am Sir Jesse Guzman and I will be your teacher in Science 5. Are you ready to explore the enchanting world of science? Now, let's... Hello kids, Sir Jesse here. This lesson will discuss the protect and conserve in an estuaries and intertidal zones. Specifically, this part of the module will give you different activities that will describe the protection of estuaries and intertidal zones. Like other ecosystems, estuaries and intertidal zones need to be protected because of the presence of organisms that are dependent on their unique conditions. Our country is rich in different forms of ecosystem because of so many rivers and long shorelines. Let us first discuss the importance of intertidal zones and estuaries. Intertidal zones and estuaries are important bodies of water because they provide a lot of benefits. These areas are home to a lot of plants and animals which provide food, medicines, and other products. Sa Tagalog, ang estuaries at saka intertidal zone ay napaka halagang bahagi ng tubig dahil sa binibigay nitong benefits. So ito ay pwedeng maging tirahan ng hayop at alama na nagbibigay sa atin ng pagkain, gamot at iba pang mga produkto. They also serve as the breeding ground and nursery of the young aquatic animals. Ito rin ay nagbibigay ng tirahan sa mga hayop at nagsisilbing tirahan din ng mga maliliit na aquatic animals. Why estuaries are valuable? Bakit nga ba mahalaga ang estuaries? Our nurseries, breeding grounds for fish and birds. So ito ay nagsisilbing tirahan ng maliliit na isda at puntahan ng mga ipon. Dahil alam naman natin na yung ibang ipon ay kumakain ng mga isda. They also maintain the health of coastal fisheries and water. Are a buffer between the land and the seas. So siya ay pinagkikitaan ng lupa at tubig, protecting the land from storms. So pinaprotektahan niya ang lupa sa bagyo and plants. And protecting the sea from sediments and pollutants from the lands. It also have commercial value for fishing industries. So, syempre, mayroong mga nangingisda-ngisda so, yun yung pinaka-pangunahing hanap buhay. And also, last, our ideal places for boats and fish. So, syempre, ito ay daanin ng mga boats at saka mga ships to come into land and attract tourists. Syempre, kapag ka, mayroon mga estuaries at saka intertidal zones sa lugar, puntahan ng mga tourists, katulad mga beaches, ganyan. We impact estuaries in many ways. To care for and protect estuaries, we need to consider how our action affects estuaries and take steps to reduce these impacts. So, ang pag-aaralan natin ay mga protection at saka conserve na pwedeng natin gawin sa estuaries at intertidal zones. Unang-una, syempre, plant trees. So, kailangan natin magtanim ng mga puno. The biggest problem from estuaries is sedimentation or clarification. This is the process of letting suspended material settle by gravity. So, 
suspended material may be particles such as clay or silts originally present in the source water. So, ang example ng sedimentation ay sand and silt can be carried in suspension, suspension in river water and on reaching the seabed deposited by sedimentation. So, yun ang pinakamalaking problem ng estuaries, yung sedimentation. Land clearance has been a major contributing factor for sedimentation. So, tinatayang 390 million tons of sediments washes from the land into the sea every year, affecting the estuaries. Fence up stock landowners around estuaries can fence up streams. So, dahil nga merong sedimentation, landowners around estuary can fence up. O kaya pwede nilang harangan ang atilang streams para hindi isupin ng, uh, es ng sedimentation. Improved catchment. Improved catchment can be help limit pollution that enters estuaries through stormwater runoff. This is important following heavy rainfall. Stormwater brings many pollutants from land into estuaries through drainage systems. Siyempre, meron din tayong restrict fishing activity. So, dahil nga nagigilibangan ng pangista, so yung iba ay uh, kitukuha nila yung mga maliliit na ista, which is hindi naman maganda. Gumagamit sila ng mga maliliit na, na lambat para makapasok doon yung mga maliliit na ista. So, pay attention to regulations that limit quantity and size of fish and shellfish that can be taken to prevent excessive harvesting. So, pagka nakuha nila yung maliliit na ista, syempre, ang tawag doon ay excessive harvesting. Respect marine reserves. Do not take marine life from this area. So, bawal manguha ng mga maliliit na ista o kaya yung mga exotic na ista na hindi naman tayong lutuin dito sa lugar na ito. Marami kasi mga tao na ginagawang pagkain yung mga exotic na aquatic animal. So, hinahandaan nila ito sa restaurant. So, ito ay pinagbabawal ng gobyerno. Biosecurity checks on ships. So, syempre, kailangan laging tinecheck ang ating ships baka magkaroon ng uh, oil spill o kaya naman kumukuha sila doon ng mga exotic fishes na tago nila para dalhin doon sa mga restaurant. Pinagbabawal yan. Kailangan niya ng matinding biosecurity check. Stop reclaiming land. So, bawal mag tayo-tayo ng mga land o kaya naman mag-reclaim ng lands na malapit sa estuaries. Limit pollution. Help to keep the estuary healthy by not adding solid waste or liquid pollution. So, kailangan natin ingatan ang ating estuaries. Dapat hindi tayo magkakalat at saka tayo magtatapo ng mga liquid pollution na tinatawag ng mga oil fuel ganyan sa dagat. Siyempre pwede rin tayong sumali sa mga clean up drive na nakikita sa screen. Yan ay example ng clean up drive na ginagawa kapag ka bumibisita sa beach. Kaya naman pag kayo na yung nasa beach, huwag kayo magtatapo ng mga halat. Magdala kayo ng plastic at Tumulong din kayo sa uh, pag may nakita kayong palat, tamputin nyo din pag kayo ay nasa shoreline. So, ito na nga yung biosecurity, parang katulad kanina, pero dito naman ay piniprevent naman yung invasion of exotic species. Yung bawal kumuha ng mga ayop na hindi naman pwedeng kain. Report rest to estuaries. So, kailangan i-report din natin. Let your local council 
know if you see something that could be a risk for an estuaries. So, katulad na nakikita nyo sa screen, ayan ang mga epekto ng pag hindi natin inaalagaan ng ating estuary. Nagkakaroon ng basura, tapos namamatay yung mga isda. Like illegal dumping of rubbish, pollution spills, strange new marine organisms or people cutting down or removing estuary plants such as mangroves without paper. So, yung mga namumutol ng puno dahil nga kinagawa nilang mga kahoy-kahoy yung mga mangroves kinagawa nilang mga kuling uh, sa lutuan so, bawal din tumut ng mga mangroves so pag tayo ay nasa bahay naman paano man naman natin makukonserve ang water so first Keep septic system working properly. Pump your system every three, three years leaking system. Seep into estuaries. So, kailangan yung ating uh, yung ating mga poso negro ay dapat pinapump up yan para hindi nagpapata at hindi pumunta sa ating estuaries. Think before you pour something down the drain. So, kailangan yung mga hazardous products, katulad ng mga shampoo, mga oil, ganyan. So, kailangan hindi natin yan nilalagay sa drain or canal. Paveless, hard surfaces, speed up water run, and increase pollution and erosion. So, kailangan yung mga malalaking kalat ay hindi natin yan tinatakon kung saan-saan para hindi magkaroon ng pollution. So, sa ating garden naman, syempre, madalas tayong mga nagdidilig-dilig ng mga halaman. Avoid using toxic pesticides. So, kailangan gumamit lang tayo ng mga organic pesticides para hindi mamatay yung ating mga halaman. At syempre, hindi magkaroon ng laso ang ating tubig. Use native plants. So, garden and landscape with plants native to your areas and reduce the needs for watering and Fertilizing. So, syempre, kailangan natin gumamit ng mga native na plants for our gardening. Collect rain water. Reducing runoff is critical to minimize the impact of our yards and gardens. Have an surrounding lakes and streets. So, syempre, yung ibang mga halaman ay kinakailangan nila ng rain water. Kasi ang ginagamit nating water sa bahay ay may fluoride yun. So, yung ibang mga halaman, kailangan nila ng tubig na galing sa ulan, yung tubig ulan, para sila ay mabuhay, gumanda yung kanilang tubo. So, syempre, pag tayo nangungulekta din ng rainwater, so mas malaking nakukonserve natin sa ating water, ang dilig-dilig sa mga halaman. So, sa ating oceans naman and bodies of water, pwede tayong no-wake zone when on your boat. Waves destroy shorelines and increase erosions. Fish respectfully. So, bawal tayo mga isda na hindi naman, pinab- hindi naman pinayaan ng ating government. Respect habitat. So, yung mga nag-scuba diving, ganyan. So, huwag natin naapakin yung mga tira ng mga isda. Take action and get involved. So, mag-volunteer your nearest national estuary research reserve. Organize a stream or beach cleanup. So, kailangan sumali tayo sa mga cleanup drive na ginagawa sa ating community. Lalong-lalo na sa beach. Encourage your local newspaper to write a story. Siyempre, meron tayong dyan sa ating mga school. Pwede tayong gumawa ng sarili nating story about sa taking care of our water or as an expert to speak at your community organization or school. So, pwede rin kayo pumunta sa estuaries and health to visit your nearest National Estuary Research Reserve. So, let us have an activity. Direction. Write science on the action or activity 
guaranteed that helps protect and conserve the estuaries and intertidal zones. 5. If not. So, ilalagay nyo ay science kapag nakakatulong. 5 naman kapag hindi. Number 1. Throw an oil to the oceans. Number 2. Use dynamite in fishing. Number 3. Volunteer in your community about the proper waste disposal. Number 4. Join a beach stream or wetland cleanup drive. Number five, maintain heating oil tanks and fill lines to avoid leakage. I will give you 10 seconds to answer. Shall we check? Okay, point number one, throw an oil to the ocean. This is five. Number two, use dynamite in fishing. So five. Number three, volunteer in your community about proper waste disposal. Science. Number four, join a beach, stream, or wetland. Clean up drive. Science. Number 5, maintain heating oil tanks and fill lines to avoid leakage. Science. Very good. That ends my discussion. I hope that you will learn something today. Again, this is Sir Jessica Sman saying, Be an explorer, be a discoverer, be an Agamazing You. This is Agamazing TV.